What's good, y'all? Um, I hope y'all enjoyed that drone footage, and uh, I hope y'all actually have been liking the uh, new mom video we just posted, Unchurched, um, starring my boy Wendell, sung by uh, the big homie Todd. I ain't never met Todd. I'm just saying the big homie to make it sound like I met Todd, but I ain't meet Todd. Todd sung that joint. I'm actually about to go to a Bible study in about an hour. The talk is about something that I personally struggle with, which is, is validation. And I just wanted to, you know, ask y'all and talk to you guys about validation. Um, and if you guys struggle with, you know, of course, everybody struggles with a form of it. But essentially, um, I did a word study and looked at what validation means. It means to give something a level of importance, especially after you invest in something. So when you think about your food, you, if you go to the drive through you buy food, you validate it. Make sure it's the food that you ordered. You make sure the food is done, and you make sure it's done the way you want it. It got the cheese, the, the bacon, the lettuce, the tomato, whatever, right? Well, um, in life, you, you, you validate something by what you invest into it. So if you invest in something, you expect a certain level in return. And, uh, you know, when I think about my relationship with God, there are times where just because I'm being obedient and I'm doing what he tells me to do, I'm expecting uh, a certain level of return. I'm expecting something in return. Um, and sometimes he it don't always go the way I expect it to be. Um, and Jesus actually talks about uh, about validation in um, I believe it's Matthew chapter six, Matthew chapter six. He talks to the disciples about. You know, not focusing on things, not focusing on, you know, where you're going to eat, where you're going to sleep, you know, stuff, you know, don't worry about none of that because I, I loved you so much. I died for you. Of course, I'm going to take care of all your needs. And then on uh, verse 33, he says, be obedient, seek me and I'll give you all the things that you need. And sometimes our wants and our needs are different especially after you made that investment i've invested in you know i know that sounds bad but I, you know when you invest in like god i'm gonna stop doing what i want to do i'm gonna stop being greedy i'm gonna stop being selfish i'm gonna stop uh pornography and masturbation and lust and and looking at women as objects or looking at men as you know if you're in that situation looking at men as objects or i'm gonna stop whatever this thing is that i'm doing and i'm gonna seek you and i'm gonna be obedient to you god you expect in return an investment you expect God to, you know, fulfill your dreams. For me personally, I'm going to get personal with you guys. I expect uh, to have a family one day. But God says what you need, I'm going to supply all your needs. What you need, yo, it's a spider on me. Hey, we, we alive. What you need is just to be single and love on the people that you're around. Loving your grandparents. This is for me only. Loving your grandparents. Loving your friends. Um, I have a dream and an aspiration to be a fine artist. And, you know, ultimately, God is like, you know, I know that's your dream. I know that's your aspiration. And he places me in the circles. Ultimately, fine art is controlled by financially wealthy people and people who have a specific influence. Normally, it's like generations of families and they have this influence and they keep it in the circle. So they have to invite you in and validate you to make you part of this community. And I haven't been invited in. I haven't been validated by somebody in the community. And that kind of hurts my feelings. But God says, you don't need that. You know, that's what he's telling me. I don't feel like I don't need it. I still want it. And I'm and the, the, the thing that hurts me is the fact that I'm in these circles. So I know the people who can validate me. My professor's one, actually. And, you know, shout out to him. He's an awesome man religious man serves God he's validated but I'm not yet and sometimes that bothers me I'm like God but he's like all you need is for him to be your, your you need to see it you need to see it can happen that's why he let me be my let him be my professor he's like you need to see it but it ain't time for you to have it yet so a lot of times for me when it comes to validation it's about balance and about balancing my mind and knowing that you can't allow where you're supposed to be be your focus otherwise you'll get depressed and you can't allow where you're at to be your focus otherwise you'll settle and it's a balance of being in between being in between being having a good healthy perspective on what validates you 
So uh, with those thoughts, um, I, I hope you guys are having a man. This spider is killing me, G. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, make today count. Please, uh, again, go check out the new mom video if you haven't. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, if I got some more drone video footage, I'm going to drop it in right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah.